And you know what? I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna keep going anyways. One session. I'm gonna see how far I can get. Maybe things will turn up again. I'm approaching the shuttle hangar. In terms you of must, ammo. You must find your way to the cargo bay. The Markery, it's being stored in there. There's a cargo loading lift there you can use to deliver the marker up to the hangar. Please, you must help me with this. It's the only way. Yeah, I know. No problem, fam. I don't know if, like, keeping those items in my inventory... Jesus affects the uh, RNG of the item loot at all. Maybe I should keep them in my inventory even though they're taking up space. I don't know. If anyone in the comments knows, you can tell me about it. Feels like we've been here before. Have we? This architecture is just like in, um, chapter one. Is this the repair room? Yeah, this is the same area, damn. And yeah, of course, we could have beaten the whole game right here. It's so funny, chapter one. The artifact is right here. If only we knew, man. If only we knew. <clears throat> oh, they're aggroed. God damn it. Uh, I fucked that up tremendously. I was trying to... Fuck. I was trying to get it to blow up right by the swarmlings or whatever. Now I just fucked myself. Oh. Well, I got some of them. Wait, really? Where's the swarmlings? Did they not spawn? What the fuck? That doesn't even make sense. I shot it directly in the stomach. Weird. I mean, I guess I can't complain, because that means I don't fucking die immediately for that misplay, but... Yeah. Awkward. There's the fucking face cam. Just making sure it's still there every now and then. The lighting is okay. So far, so good. <clears throat> Get used to me, like, going back and saving a lot, honestly. Because I won't have to, like, redo this whole thing. Considering I just barely managed it the first time. I got some decent pickups. 23 ammo. Uh, can probably get through this room with that. But then there's the issue of the fucking, um, the tentacles. <clears throat> in case you guys are wondering why I got, like, a band-aid, is that even in the camera? You can kind of just barely see it on my middle finger. In case you're wondering how I got that, basically yesterday, uh, when I came back home from work, I had to throw out an AC filter because they get really fucking dirty all the time in this apartment. And uh, I was holding like the back of it, and apparently the back of it is just sharp enough that it did like a clean slice on my middle finger. And it was like bleeding like crazy. I was like, holy shit, dude. I was like kind of panicking. 
Because I, I wasn't in my house when that happened. I was, like, out near the dumpster. Which is, um, not that far from the house, but far enough that it's like, oh my god, am I about to fucking pass out right now? Nah. Not quite that extreme. And you can imagine, like, going to work where I have to, like, clean dishes all the time. Yep, there it is. Gotta dip my hand in fucking sanitizer. It burns like crazy. Or you think it would, but... Surprisingly, it doesn't hurt that much, but it still bleeds. Even though I've had time to, like, heal. Shit. Oh, good. I missed my first fucking shots. Which means I'm probably fucking dead. Because you guys are actually really awkward to hit without stasis. How the fuck am I going to do this? If I could like disarm that, then like maybe... Alright, so I baited you down here. Okay. The pregnant went somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it fucking glitched. Okay, wait, no, I'm retarded. You know, fuck off. You still coming down, boy? Yep. It's about buying ourselves time, people. I know this is retarded. <laughs> Looks like the tentacle hits only there, not there. That's good. Somehow they didn't hit me. Maybe I can avoid aggroing them. It's weird, I don't see anything. God damn it, they see me. It's one down.
Okay, I wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. <sighs> Fuck. Can I avoid aggroing you? I don't know, you're walking directly towards me, so that sucks. I'm getting tongue tied, man. Where's the exploder? Off to the side. Oh, okay. So you only spawned because uh, I moved it. That makes sense. Oh my god. Am I supposed to do this? Alright, so, with that knowledge in mind, deal with the first wave, I have to deal with the Exploder, because leaving him alive does not do me any favors. Gotta kill him, then, um, use his sack, destroy the rest of the second wave, hopefully. I wish I would just prioritize the fucking um where'd the sack go? Are you serious? I don't understand. I guess I, like, accidentally ran into it or something? Stupid. Yeah, I mean... No. Yeah, I was gonna say, but I don't know now. Actually, fuck it, I might as well. There's not much reason, but... Yeah. It's like every little inch that we can get, you know? Might as well save once again now. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> He's gonna go after me. Gracias. Okay, do your slam attack. I'm surprised I didn't kill me instantly. Oh.
Okay, I think I glitched him. Am I, am I about to kill him? Please tell me I'm going to kill him. Okay, I don't even have to kill them. All I really need to do is, like, put them in a position where they can't just kill me outright. Now, one of them can't be disabled by the leg, so that's obviously going to be kind of hard. Unless... Okay. It takes like four or five hits to take down a Black Nephnorp's limb. So. Okay, the fucking condo better be worth it, Isaac. I'm just saying. So much horse shit. Actually, no. I should just say, well, like, right up here. good enough. And I can use like this to stagger the uh, pregnant in the meantime, if I even aggro it. Really? This fucking thing just happened to fucking follow me up here? Eat a dick. Now I just feel like a fucking baller. Okay, I'm saving now. <laughs> like, I hate to say it, but it's pretty much completely relying on luck at this point. I can go past here. I can run past here without getting killed, at least. I go, like, immediately. Hopefully there won't be another wave or I'm gonna be really fucking sad. Seriously, please don't be another wave. God. Christ. Go, Isaac, get the fuck out. Okay, we're safe ish. Phew. I don't even care, we're saving. Man, things were so much simpler back then. Excuse me. I'm heading up to the flight deck now. Oh god. I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing, Kendra. Don't feel bad. Okay, I'm just gonna run for it. That's like the thematic of the playthrough now. Like I said, I don't like playing this game like this at all. 
Um, I mean, it's kind of acceptable for a horror game, but... Like, at this point, I'm pretty much forced to play this way. Unless I just get a bunch of ammo. <coughs> okay. Well, I got a little something, I guess. God, I feel so nostalgic being in here again. We're gonna save just in case some shit goes down. Bruh. Wait. Oh no. Fuck. I just remembered this is another section. Oh my god, this is another section where we need to survive like a whole wave. What the fuck am I supposed to do this? This is so unfair. If I clutch this, this would be hilarious, though. Ay, ay, ay. They're blocking me too good. I tried, I tried really hard. Twenty minutes later. One hour later. The booty, that's the point. I know. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. It seems very intentional that they like put all these here, but they just don't. I need to hit him like three fucking times and it's just not possible. Like, not upgrading is fine, but... So far, All right. So ideally, I don't have to. So now this is the kind of situation where I can kind of just barely, kind of cheese him with the physics. But like the thing is, I don't want to get too close to the side where. 
his, he'll do like his lunge and attack, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fucking kill him if I can't do this. The fact that he straight up fucking ignores certain mechanics is so annoying. Tell me that's it. <sighs> it was getting to the point where, like, my soul was fucking dying, guys. That was so horrible. You're gonna fucking make me fight shit anyways, right? Just do your thing, kind. I saw that, but whatever. Alright, just one more thing to do and we can get off this fucking rock. And... I don't think there's anything down there. At least this area gives us uh, the fire explosive uh, barrels. So, there's a little bit more going on beyond... I hope you have enough ammo. Okay, for health. Yeah, that's the only... Healing item we got now. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. It's been a while. I guess I don't need to rush it, right? I have just enough. Okay. Not dropping anything as far as I can tell, that kind of sucks. I would think you had. Yeah, you took just enough damage from that that you died. <coughs> okay, there's the artifact. The marker, whatever. So out of it, guys. I definitely need to uh, take a break again after this. I think that's everything that we can do, or... Wait, no, no, no. Okay, please don't die. Please don't. Seriously, I'm gonna be very irritated if you die, Isaac. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, I guess this is just to make me sick in my stomach. We. Wait, is there anything back here? Nah. We should still have enough, uh, flame barrels that we're fine, even if, like, another wave shows up. Actually, fuck. I only see, like, one. But we can do the old trick where we bait them to, like, one part of the area. this shit? Can I not move it? Wait. Hello? Oh, okay, I see. That makes sense. Okay, we gotta fucking book it. Duh. We'll go right on here and deal with that, uh, leaper. Okay, luckily I haven't died once trying to do this, a uh, short leap thing, somehow. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> I guess we're really intimidating him. Oi! Brim boy! <sighs> Whatever. You gotta just a clip or something. Phew. Thank God. so weird to see this part of the ship now. That makes me think Halo 2. I remember there's a shot in the first mission of Halo 2 where you get to see an area like that. Huh. Could have sworn there'd be something over here. Maybe down here? No? Wow, there's... Oh wait, there's that. That's decent. Come on, Ammo. I won't even use you, I promise. Ugh, whatever. Fuck you. Exiting zero gravity. Uh. Okay, I'm on my way, bro. Please come and join me. Together we can stop this hive mind. We can end this nightmare at last. Oh, you bitch. Uh, 
Your model isn't even there. What the fuck? I won't even mess with your corpse, man. I respect you. Fucking Kendra, man. Sorry, Isaac. I couldn't let him go through with it. I suppose I should thank you for finding the marker. We even managed without help from the USM Valor. Thank you for helping me find it, by the way. My department's been looking for this place for a long time. See what kind didn't know us? It was the government's mess to begin with. This whole planet is one big experiment. The marker? This <laughs> divine relic? Made by man. They reverse engineered it a couple of hundred years ago from the real marker. A true alien <coughs> artifact recovered on Earth. They dug it up, studied it, and they made it their own. Then they brought it to Aegis 7 and activated it. And you've seen the result. The stuff of nightmares. They sealed the system. Yeah, why are you taking off with it? You should probably uh, destroy it or something. blunders in and starts tearing the planet apart. The experiment was still alive. Ken was right about the hive mind. The marker would contain it, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I have the marker. Why wouldn't it? The system can go to hell. For what it's worth, you did a great job, Isaac. See you around. Or maybe not. <sighs> Nicole, I need you to help me. Help us. Now. Us. I, I'm in the flight control room. Please, Isaac, hurry. Please. I love you. Huh. So, like, I guess ghosts are really a thing in this universe. Is it, like, not just a hallucination? Because I assumed it was just the marker messing with you. Or I guess it still can be. Unless the reason the marker helps you is because it's the, the victims of the necromorph infection reaching out in spirit or whatever. Which is really weird to think about. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill you. Are you dead? No. Okay, now you are. And I think that's the last thing we have to do. Last combat thing. Cool. It's over here. Ah. Uh, just imagine, like, ever since the beginning of the game, there's just been this random guy applied to the wall right here. I think it was just in the trailer, I'm not sure, but I remember seeing a video somewhere. Where, uh, that announcement thing that you see at the beginning of the game, like, talks to you, like, Welcome, I'm Isaac so Clark, to the so USG Ishimura. I never to hurt you. That hasn't happened so far, you or ever, as far as I can tell. You can pilot the shuttle remotely from here. Oh, your creepy empty eyes. You're a lot nicer than you are in, uh, Dead Space 2. Haha, -ha, eat a dick, Kendra. Isaac, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> You're making a big mistake. This is not over. It's pretty over, bruh. Escape pod away, crew shuttle USG09. Repeat. Shuttle has ejected escape pod. It doesn't matter. She can't escape her fate. None of us can. Here it comes. I'll report on the shuttle so we can fly down to the column. I'm 
so close, Isaac. Now go, get on the shuttle. They'll set all your spirits free. Okay, the power of love and friendship carried us through the necromorph infection. Oh, you can still see it from here. That's cool. God, I love those lights so much. It just looks cool, okay? Beware. Beware something. I can't really read that. What, really? Oh my god, they're still making me fight shit. Yeah, I was expecting a nice, relaxing, calming adventure down to the planet. And this is bullshit. Uh, last part is coming up, and I'm sure it'll be just as hard, to be honest. Because there's, uh, multiple sections on the final level we have to deal with, uh, just a wave after wave after wave of enemies. But, yeah, I definitely need a break after that shit. See you guys later.